coming for you niggas. Nah, there's no, there's no truth to that. When, when I got the, when I got the Cali, look, I was a motherfucking soldier, the worst kind of nigga before I even went to Cali, before I even met Pop. I was in my own hood, Mom, first doing com. that shit like niggas is supposed to, to the fucking max. So, no left the, left the hood, smart as hell, he got the fuck out the hood and went to Cali, trying to make a better life for himself. Two years after that, that's when Gaddafi... You know, me and Gaddafi, we running the whole hood, hustling, getting money, driving, shooting niggas. We doing everything it is to do. So when Gaddafi pulled me in, we going to Cali. We going to take this show on the road. We going to Cali. Boom, we get to Cali. You know, we there for a couple of days. And the motherfucking bright idea clicked in my head that one of the homies from my hood, from back home, is in Cali. I don't, me being who I am, I don't give a fuck where in Cali he's at. If he's from my hood, then I'm going to get him because, nigga, I'm... I'm a soldier. Bomb first out. So Pop had it, wound it up going in the studio and having some long ass meeting with Suge and these niggas, and we took the limo and we went and got Noble. We went and got Noble from his house. I convinced that nigga, yo, nigga, he's like, yo, we going to school, I'm going to school. I said, nah, nigga, we rapping with Tupac. You know who Tupac is? He like, yeah, I can't remember what he said. I said, well, then that's what the fuck we doing. I took the nigga, he, he got in the car with us, he came back to the crib with us. Boom, Pop seen him, Pop was smelling him, Pop was like, Fatal, what if we kill somebody? Is this nigga going to tell? I said, nigga, if we kill somebody, this nigga ain't even going to know. I just tried to smooth him over and shit, and that shit worked. You know what I'm saying? But I was going back and forth to court from California because I had a big-ass case I was fighting. You know, I, this shit don't stop because you go to Cali, you still got to go to court, nigga. So I was going back and forth to court. Now, when I'm going back and forth to court, you know, Noel was dead, Noel had the jersey flavor, Pop was smelling him on the strength, Fatal and them brought him in. So yeah, the dog, he's a fucking outlaw, no questions asked. But as far as him taking my place, uh, cause I got sent back to Jersey or whatever the fuck they talking about, nah, that was some bullshit. I'm the one that went and got Noble from California and from Rancho Cucamongo, wherever the fuck he was living at. That was my work. Bombfirst.com. I disregarded everything everybody else said, and I went and got him, like the fucking boss I am. And yeah, Pac didn't like that shit. I used to get into a beef with Pac over every fucking thing, making decisions and shit. But yeah, that's what happened with No and No and that shit. And my decision was true. My decision was real right because later on in life, when I did wind up fucking up with the outlaws, I'm in Jersey recently, like last year. Like, you know, I, I had enough of the hood. I felt like a nigga was going to kill me or I was going to kill somebody. I called Noble up on the phone, like, crying, like, dog. Like, yo, I got to get the fuck from out of here. This shit ain't working for me. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. And first thing Noble said was, like, come on down to the A, nigga, and we going to figure it out. So if I wouldn't have never brought that man in, I, you know what I'm saying, how I brought him in, it's a good chance that he would have never reached back and brought me back in. And my life might be over or fucked up. So, you know... Decisions and mistakes. That was another good decision.